Roadside RC, it is Troy. Logan. And Logan. We have a um, kind of an awkwardly shaped box that came in today. Uh, but it is from RC Bash Ramps. So, turns out that it's really good to pay attention on uh, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. They had a giveaway. So, we entered it. It said, hey, share a video or a picture of your truck jumping. And you get a chance to win. So, we did. And we were one of few that entered. And, ta-da! So, here, Logan and I are going to sit here. And we're going to build it. And we'll check this thing out and see what it does. Look who joined. Who is it? James. James joined us. All right, let's build this thing. one thing definitely uh, honest about this this one the materials look crazy I mean look at this beautiful powder coating job on the sides look at the etch in RC bash ramp cut in that looks nice very thick piece of aluminum here I'm not too sure what that's used for diamond plate that looks awesome um, but they also 17 pound shipping weight they claim that 12 pounds is how heavy the ramp is and I can believe it because there's five pounds of tape <laughs> that was holding everything together. So if you guys order one of these, uh, definitely do not be worried that it's going to come broken. They package this very nicely. I was slightly skeptical when I saw um, this thin cardboard box come. But yeah, it's not being hurt. Logan, show us the instructions. What do you see so far? So, first step... Yeah, just run us through it a little bit. So does it look like we, we use this piece to set the width between these two, yeah. maybe? And then what do we do after that? And then that? we lay the, um, the diamond sheet plate top of it and apply pressure, then screw in the bolts. Well, that doesn't sound very hard. check this out that is one good looking ramp check out that chrome plating the orange anodized honestly as you just saw in the video pretty simple to put together oh look there's still more tape i'd be dinged hey. <laughs> the um couple things that i noticed obviously just pushing down um bends the metal easy enough these are already threaded inserts on here so it makes it super simple i mean literally one wrench to put the whole thing together. Uh, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Uh, the holes are slotted enough to where you can actually adjust the ramp up and down a little bit. We have it um, not due to any planning, but just kind of how we put it in. We have it to where the ramp is actually touching the ground as we set, and that's because we started at the bottom and then worked our way up. You can tell there's a little bit of a gap here. It's very flush on this side. When you get to the other side of the ramp, it actually sticks over a little bit, but I think that might have been partially our fault with how we uh, centered the bolts in the holes. But um, honestly, also don't really care. So, but um, it looks good, guys. I think it just needs one final touch. Ta-da! Alright, who wants to try it out? Me! 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 Let's try this thing out. Alright guys, look, here's a comparison. So you've seen videos of us on this ramp before. It starts at about a 20 degree angle, comes up to about a 40 degree angle. Obviously with the bash ramp and the piece of metal, they've engineered it in here where much shallower angle at the start and at a much steeper angle here at the end. So obviously this ramp much better when it comes to backflips and things like that. Our ramp a lot better for distance. One of the things I immediately notice is you'll see us driving the X-Max a lot. It'll fit an X-Max, 
but man, I'm gonna have to be on my A game to hit that. I'm certainly not gonna hit it at full speed like I can with my big ramp, but it should do nice back there. Definitely, definitely like a 10 scale. So I'm gonna try the X-Max Logan, Outcast, James, Rock Racer. Let's get them. Nice. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was easy enough. Ow. What's the review, Logan? I like the other one. <laughs> the other one's better for backflipping. I Hey, that worked. like it was dead anyway that looks like that was already a dead branch um but i literally launched into the tree Oosh, with the x max does it live i think it lives <laughs> james approves of the ramp So just so you know, it's X-Max rated, but it's not quite Logan rated. So when Logan decided to jump on it, it bent. Awesome. Oh. So that was actually pretty fun, if I'm honest with you. That was pretty crazy. We had some crazy jumps and all that. Honest review time. Will this thing jump and send you high in the air? Yes. Yeah, actually. It does pretty good. And it looks awesome. All right. Have we have we had a kind of a, a failure with it? Yes. Yeah, yeah we kind of had a failure with it. Now, you guys got to be honest, though. We're roadside RC, so... It's kind of what we do. We kind of tear some stuff up. So um, to the guys at RC Bash Ramps, I apologize that we tore your ramp up. Um, it looks awesome. I think two things happened, if I'm completely honest. One, these two started jumping on it. That weakened the ramp because of their feet being on it. You saw when Logan did that initially. Once that was weaker, when I did that last jump with the X-Max and just hit it as close to wide open as I could, I'm guessing that the metal was already weakened because it had already been bent. And that allowed it to then bend even further um, because of that mass of the X-Max just coming in here and hitting right before it jumped off. 
A um, couple other things we noticed, if you, I don't know if you caught it on video or not, but Logan tried to hit it pretty flat out in the outcast and he kept coming up the side. He kept missing the ramp, right? One of the things that happened is it, because the bolt heads stick up, it actually took off a chunk of his front bumper because as the outcast came in, it's tall enough to miss these, but to just plow that one. So a, a chunk of the front of the outcast is now missing. Uh, it happens. So, um, honestly, at the end of the day, would I suggest somebody would do, is this a cool ramp? Heck yeah, it's a cool ramp. If you're going to be jumping slashes and buggies and stuff like that off of it, you can do it all day long. Can we jump an X-Max off of it? Yeah, we can jump an X-Max off of it, and I think it probably would have lasted if this guy hadn't jumped on it to start with. If you're in the market for a ramp, man, the thing that they say, everything they say about it is true. I think it's strong as long as your 100 pound sun doesn't jump on it. I think it's strong. I think, what, 99? 99 pound sun, not 100, I'm sorry. So, I think it's nice and strong. I think it'll do great. If you're going to be doing 8 scale stuff and bigger, I think it's a little narrow, if I'm honest with you. Um, a lot of the stuff that we jump, like I love jumping the X-Max and stuff. Um, I could hit I could hit it with the X-Max. I hit it actually the majority of the time with the X-Max. Logan, you had issues hitting it with the Outcast, right? Hitting all four tires on it. Um, maybe we're just not that good at drivers. Who knows? But um, wider helps. But wider makes it less portable, right? They say clearly that this thing is portable. End of the video. All right. Thanks for your support. We will see you later, guys.